it's electronic so at least um, no matter what at some point you can cross it but also verify um, I've been using it for about like twice or three times now as you can see it's a new car um, this is pretty reasonable I mean this is like hands-free driving um, and then you can actually accelerate a little bit for the gas um, just to push give it a nod because sometimes it goes exactly on the speed limit so sometimes some cars are behind you um, sometimes they get frustrated so you might want to press the gas a little bit um, other than that I mean this is like it's drivable and also I mean this is like it's reasonable and uh, I don't know when it's gonna be because um, if you buy the new Tesla it gives you about a month of FSD and the connectivity so you have about a month and then now I think they come up with a um, monthly subscription and I think it's like about $99 for the subscription um, or you can do the ELE uh, which is almost uh, maybe about a thousand plus or so or you can buy the whole entire package for about $7,000 but check with Tesla because they're always coming up with like new engagement sometimes they will actually give a deal and I, I like a couple of months ago they were actually for four thousand dollars and I just see that they went up again a little bit so if you want a deal like that so sometimes it's better you wait until they have a deal then you can actually buy the subscription um, other than that I mean this is like um, it's pretty smooth we don't have any issues uh, with the FSD self-driving um, self-driving system uh, for Tesla uh, so we're waiting for actually for the uh, for the new Tesla uh, Juniper to come out so because that's gonna be more robust when it comes to self-driving autonomous I just wish like Tesla have actually cameras also like how you have a back-end camera they can also have the front-end camera so in case if you're driving also um, especially when you're making left or right turns I wish they have a cameras there too that you can be able to see what is on your blind spots but other than that I mean this is like the warning systems also on the steering wheels um, or also on your windshields uh, on the side view mirrors um, I wish Tesla I wish they have a I wish they have a, a blinking lights there that you can be able to see the people that are uh, you know on your sides so I'm gonna increase the speed here um, because I need to get on the other side of the freeway um, yeah. there it is see I mean the car did all that by itself so you can't go wrong on this I mean honestly you know, Tesla did a great job on this. There it is. You see, I mean, the car is actually done and doing all of that on its own. You know. So, and then also when the traffic slows down, what I notice it disengage. So, that's something Tesla need to work on. Um, it can recognize vehicles, but sometimes I feel like um, when you're driving and there's a lot of cars and then you are at the stop sign or you're about to um, hit the stop sign or uh, at the stoplight, sometimes it will disengage it. So you have to re-engage it again. But when it's like straight driving or just straight on the freeway, I mean, it's totally fine. Residential wise, I notice like sometimes um, it disengages a lot, especially when you're making those turns, you know, corners to corners in the, you know, in, in our neighborhoods. It kind of like uh, disengages a lot. And that was something that I also reported Tesla, you know, through their mobile app to sit down and say, like, hey, there's a problem um, if they can fix that because I would like this thing to be totally autonomous. Um, that was the whole point of it. But I'm feeling also the cameras on the side, I think they need to increase them or put like two cameras on each side instead of just one that mostly focus on the back end of it. They need to have one for the front. And I think if they do that, the car will have less engagement. Other than that, I'm going to re-engage it again. And as you guys can see, you just press the button just once and it just engages. That's it. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys again. Like I said, you know, subscribe. This is a new channel. It's electronic. So at least um, no matter what, at some point you can trust it, but also verify. Um, I've been using it for about like twice or three times now. As you can see, it's a new car. Um, this is pretty reasonable. I mean, this is like hands-free driving 
um, and then you can actually accelerate a little bit for the gas um, just to push give it a nod because sometimes it goes exactly on the speed limit so sometimes some cars are behind you um, sometimes they get frustrated so you might want to press the gas a little bit um, other than that I mean this is like it's drivable and also I mean this is like it's reasonable 